Take a look at these images from the South Jordan City Cemetery. It's this morning where members of the community gathered to honor those who gave their lives defending freedom. Utah veterans paying respects to their fallen service members. Across Utah, people are taking time this Memorial Day. Pause and remember those who sacrificed for our country. The true meaning of Memorial Day has been a recurring theme. New specialist Jed Bull has a story from Utah Capitol where a wreath commemorating the Utahns who gave their lives for our country has been on display all day long. Jed? The Utah Department of Veterans and Military Affairs put on their annual Memorial Day ceremony here on the south steps of the Capitol, and others have come by throughout the day to pause and remember. More than 200 people joined Governor Spencer Cox and U.S. Representative Blake Moore for reflection and remembrance. Patriotism takes work. There is a responsibility that comes with being an American, and I worry that, that far too many of us are, are forgetting the, the work of being an American. A 21-gun salute honored those who sacrificed their lives for our country. We certainly do have Veterans Day, uh, but Memorial Day honors those who have given the ultimate sacrifice uh, to our great country. Approximately 3,500 Utahns dating back to World War I have paid that price. The governor asserted that America isn't just about prosperity or having an amazing economy. Our country represents a bold idea of freedom and equality for which people have fought and died. All of us are born with those rights and government is formed to protect those rights, not the other way around. And that idea, just that idea, changed the course of human history. Jenny Taylor's husband made the ultimate sacrifice nearly five years ago. Utah Army National Guard Major Brent Taylor was killed in action in Afghanistan. It's a very um, emotional day with mixed feelings. I'm sad that my husband's not here and even more sad to know there's hundreds of thousands of other service members not here on earth anymore because of their sacrifice. She spoke in Sandy as Larkin Mortuary continued its annual Memorial Day tradition started 24 years ago. Today is the day to celebrate the American dream. We would not have our opportunity to pursue the American dream if men and women weren't willing to die for that dream. She says it's nearly impossible to imagine our country without that dream. Pausing for a moment to think of the dreams we're all eager to live and the price that has been paid so that we can live them. Jenny Taylor says this day fills her with gratitude for the sacrifices of the past and also the incredible hope that it gives us for our future. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.